Hello, everyone. Welcome to our EOPS New Student Orientation. I am so excited to have you join our program and learn more about it today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And first off, we'll start off with introductions. My name is Eva Palomares, and I am one of the full-time counselors for the program. And a little bit about my connection to EOPS. I was actually an EOPS student at Rio Hondo College many years ago. And my first First semester in college, being a first generation college student, I was completely lost. I didn't know what classes to take. I wasn't sure about my major. And I joined the EOPS program, which is probably one of the best decisions I made because they provided so much support for me. And in particular, my EOPS counselor was so helpful. She really encouraged me to transfer. And I am forever grateful for that. So I made it a goal or a career goal to one day become an EOPS counselor counselor myself to give back to students like myself that need that extra guidance and support. And that is what has led me here today. Uh, so I'm going to pass it on to Alan to tell us a little bit about himself. All right. Thank you, Eva. As Eva indicated, my name is Alan Riza. I'm one of the full-time EOPS counselors here at Cypress College. This is almost my 20th year working at Cypress College. I spent 11 years working in our financial aid office and the last eight years working in EOPS. A little bit about my connection to EOPS, I too was a community college graduate. I started at Fullerton College and I was a member of the EOPS program. And it was that connection at EOPS and my time as a student worker at Fullerton College where I found out that I wanted to pursue a career in higher education. And like I said, almost 20 years later, I'm still in higher education and I'm hoping that same connection that I had with EOPS, you're going to have the same here at Cypress College. And I want to formally welcome you to our EOPS program. And now I'm going to hand it back to Eva. Thank you, Alan. We like to say that you are joining more than just a program, you are joining the EOPS family. Believe it or not, the majority of our staff have that personal connection to EOPS and that they were once students in the program. So I feel that's what makes us really special is that personal connection to EOPS. I'm going to go over a lot of information, but please no need to write all of it down. The majority of this information is available in our Google Drive. Uh, so after this, please go on there, download this presentation, as well as our EOPS Care Handbook that goes over in detail everything that I'll be covering today. So the purpose of EOPS, EOPS is a state-funded program that provides over and above services to Cypress College students from economically and educationally disadvantaged backgrounds. Um, so that's our program in a nutshell, but our number one goal is to help students accomplish their educational goals. So for for us, success is when you obtain a certificate, when you obtain an associate degree, or when you transfer. That is our number one goal. Um, so we are always super excited when graduation comes around because of this reason. Every community college in California actually has an EOPS program, um, but we're all a little different in what we like to emphasize on. So for example, for us, we have a motto that we like to say, um, and it's be EOPS strong. And there's four things that are very important to our program and at Cypress College. One of them is building community. So studies find that students that are more connected to the campus are better students. So they're more successful students. So we do have a lot of workshops as well as field trips that we really put together to help build that community. And not only building community with you and other students, but building community with us because it is important for you to also get to know us. Number two is transfer success. As I mentioned, you know, I made that decision to transfer and I am very passionate about transfer because of that. So whether you're thinking about it for yourself right now, um, that might not be something you're interested in, but we always want you to be aware of the option of transferring and getting that bachelor's degree. So we always like you to be aware of what it's required, what classes you need to take, um, because again, that's always an option for you. So we do every year put together a transfer academy where we go over the transfer requirements to the UC, Cal State, 
as well as private and out-of-state universities. Um, so it's a really helpful workshop that if you are interested at all in transfer, I encourage you to attempt. And then career development, uh, we realize that you're in school not just to get an education, right? You're in school because you're planning to get an education, but also wanting that education to lead a career, to a career. Um, so we always like to keep the end in mind, and we do have a career workshop as well where we go over resume planning as well as get you ready for that interview. Um, so we always want you to think about the future and really get you ready for those jobs. And then finally, telling others about EOPS. Uh, the majority of our students actually are referrals from other students that join our program. So if you, you know, find it helpful at all, we always encourage you to tell other students about our program. So Alan is going to play us a video that's going to talk a little bit more about the services that EOPS provides. Hello! Today, we'll be going over the services offered by EOPS, which includes specialized counseling, priority registration, textbook services, financial assistance, retention services, workshops and events, specialized counseling. You get to have your own personalized counselor. to help you achieve your academic, career, and personal goals. Priority registration. Certain classes can fill up fast. With EOPS, you get Tier 1 registration. This is the earliest registration date available. So make sure you're working with your counselor and doing research to take the right classes. Textbook services. Textbooks can be expensive. However, EOPS has a book loan library and offers a book service award to help minimize your textbook costs. Financial assistance. Whether it's educational supplies, university fee waivers, and more, EOPS has you covered. Retention services. EOPS also has a computer lab exclusively for EOPS students with free printing up to 10 pages a day. We also have experienced tutors that can help you in a variety of subjects. Workshops and events. We offer a variety of workshops, community service opportunities, and fun field trips you can go on throughout the year. So, what are you waiting for? All right, let's talk a little bit more in depth about all of the services that the video uh, talked about. So, number one on here is specialized counseling. You know, believe it or not, you could go your whole college career without talking to a counselor. But we feel that this is so important in particular because we, you know, make sure you're not taking the wrong classes. We make sure that you every semester have the right support to be successful in your classes. If you're struggling at all, we provide tutoring referrals. So counseling is a big component of our program. And in fact, we make it a requirement for you to come chat with us three times a semester. And I'll I'll go over that in another slide, but just know that we're really your, your cheerleaders uh, throughout your journey at Cypress College, but also that support to help you, you know, do well in your classes and accomplish your goals. Number two on here is priority registration. You are actually going to now, from now on, get to register on the first day. So what does that mean? That means that you will never get to be on a wait list. You'll always get the classes you want, the professors you want, because there are certain classes that fill up faster than others based on the professors. So you never have to worry about any of that because you register on day one. Um, so that's something really important. And then textbook services, you know, unfortunately, the cost of textbooks is, is going up and it's getting pretty expensive. So we do realize that and we do provide two services to help you with that. One of them is our book service award as well as our book loan library. And I'll go over that in one of the next slides as well. And then finally, financial assistance. So we do have educational supplies in our office, as well as our cap and gown 
Um, we, you know, once you get to graduation, we actually pay for your cap and gown. Um, so that's something that we like to look at it as a gift to you, um, as well as university fee waiver. So you actually get to apply to up to four UCs and four Cal State for free. Retention services. So in our office, uh, some of you probably have never visited, but once you do, um, do know that we have a beautiful computer lab in there that is only for EOPS students. So um, it's not for just anybody to use. It's only for you. And we offer free printing in there, which is always nice. Um, there is also additional tutoring that you're going to be receiving as an EOPS student um, in the fall. We'll, we'll give you more details on what that means. And then again, once you get to graduation, because it's such a big deal to us, we do put on a big celebration. We call it our success celebration. Um, and then you get to receive an EOPS sash uh, that you wear at graduation. And these are just some of our many workshops and field trips that we've gone on. Uh, we did put a pause on them during the pandemic. However, we are really hoping to bring those field trips back and visit, you know, different universities. And in particular, one of our big trips is called our Northern trip. So during our Northern trip, we take students up North to visit UC Berkeley, UC Santa Barbara, UC Davis, um, and sometimes on our way there, UCLA um, and Santa Cruz actually. So it's a big trip and it's really meant to have you get exposed to these universities, but also there's a little bit of that social aspect to it because we get to know you, you know, we spend a lot of time together on the bus and it's a really, really fun trip. Um, all of our students that go on it, they just come back with these amazing friendships and they have a blast. So um, that's something we're hoping again to bring back and we're hoping for you to be a part of that. So let's talk about that book service award and loan library. So the book service award is a credit that's valid at the Cypress College bookstore only. Um, so every semester it varies in terms of the amount. So it could be anywhere from 200 to $350. Um, usually it's more in the fall semester. And you could use it to buy new, used, or even to do a rental or even a digital copy of a textbook. Um, it's not available for summer classes, so only in the fall and spring. And then for you, it's going to be available this August, um, August 15 specifically. So you'll be getting a follow up email with more details about this. Um, but just know that that's something to help you with the cost of books. Now, we're really hoping that this award will cover the majority of your books. However, if you use it and there's still books that you need to get, we do have our book room library. So in our EOPS office, we have a bunch of textbooks that you can borrow for the whole semester. So as long as you return it back at the end, it's a completely free service and it does include graphic calculators as well. Um, so that's something that some of the math classes require and it is pretty expensive to buy a graphic calculator. So save yourself some money and just borrow that from us. And this is something that's available in the summer. So as I mentioned, the award is not, but in the summer we do lend you um, the textbook. So you can use it for summer classes and it's also gonna be available starting August 15th. How to check books for your classes. Uh, so you could actually check through our Cypress College bookstore. Um, it's really nice because now you just type in your student ID and it's going to bring up the list of all of the books you need for your classes. Um, so that is something important for you to know, especially when it comes to the book loan library, because what we will do is we're going to email you the list of all of the books that are available through our library. So you want to go on you know, the bookstore website, check what books required, and then compare it to our library and see if we have it. Um, so please know that that's how you check for your books. So we've talked about the services. Let's go on and talk about the mandatory requirements. Um, so number one on here is to be a full-time student. And a full-time student is 12 units minimum. So that's about four classes. However, we do make exceptions for students that are part of our DSS program or our Disability Support Services program. Um, and then the majority of classes have to be at Cypress College. And what that means is that you are allowed to take some at Fullerton College, which is our sister college. So that's fine, 
as long as the majority are here. So for example, with four classes, you could do one. Um, so that way you have three at Cypress College. And then 2.0 minimum GPA, of course, we want you to aim for higher, but that is the minimum that's required for our program. Counseling. So I mentioned early on that we do make it a requirement for you to meet three times with your counselor. Now you're probably thinking, what am I going to talk to my counselor three times about, right? But believe it or not, you have um, a lot, we have a lot to talk about during those three counseling appointments. Um, one of the things, of course, that's very important during that uh, appointment is we're going to develop something called a student educational plan. And that is one of the requirements uh, for the program. And that's a roadmap that lays out all of the classes that you need to take in order to accomplish your educational goals. Um, so that's something that we'll be helping you with. And then of course, just supporting you and answering any questions you might have about your classes and about your time at Cyprus. Uh, this orientation counts as that first contact in the fall. So all you need to do is do two more um, after this and you are set for the fall. Um, and then please don't forget to schedule that. We will talk more about how to schedule that in one of the next slides. And we do take these appointments very seriously. So please cancel 24 hours prior to our appointment if you need to. Um, and then if you are doing an in-person appointment, we encourage you to check in 10 minutes before. And excessive cancellation and no-shows, it can actually result in being dismissed from the program. So I mentioned that student educational plan, um, it is required um, as one of the requirements for a program. And then we, once we develop that with you, we do have you, you know, follow your SCP. And if for some reason you need to make any changes, it's always important for you to let us know. Um, so there's always that communication with your counselor uh, in terms of that plan and the classes that you're taking. And then your plan is actually available through DegreeWorks. So DegreeWorks is our system or our software that we use to develop these plans. So once it gets developed, you have access to it through my gateway. Um, and in our Google Drive, we do have a nice little handout that goes over how to access uh, DegreeWorks. And now I'm going to pass it on to Alan, who's going to continue with the rest of the presentation, and he's going to talk to us about how to schedule those counseling appointments. All right. Thank you, Eva. I know we've covered a lot of information, and you're probably wondering how you go about booking your second and third appointment. You could do it one of several ways. You can either call our office at 714 484 7368, or you can do it through our Cranium Cafe system. Or if you find yourself taking on campus classes, you can stop by our office. We're located in the Cypress College Complex, second floor, room 201, or you can do it through Zoom. So one of these is perfectly fine on how you can go about booking your second appointment. And I'm about to show that video of Cranium Cafe. Our wonderful EOPS Care CalWORKs Guardian Scholars and Grads to be students. We want to show you how to make an appointment and live chat with us through Cranium Cafe. Log on to your internet browser and go to cypresscraniumcafe.com slash login. Click on the current students icon. You will now be redirected to a login page. Use your My Gateway login information to log in to our Cypress College Cranium Cafe. You will now be redirected to our Cypress College Cranium Cafe and have access to our student support directory. This includes counseling and different departments. Scroll all the way down until you find Student Support Services, EOPS, Care, CalWORKs, and Guardian Scholars. Below you will have access to our virtual front desk. And if you scroll down, you'll see the wonderful faces of our staff and faculty that's here to serve you. Some of our virtual cards will have different messages. We might be away at lunch, we may be able to live chat, or we may be offline. In order to schedule an appointment with any of our counselors, you will need to schedule through our EOPS virtual front desk. Here you will find our office hours and our office email and location. To schedule a counseling appointment, simply live chat with us. If we're available, we'll live chat with you. For instance, ask us how to schedule a counseling appointment. One of our staff members will be able to live chat with you and help you schedule that appointment with your counselor. If we're not available, don't panic. 
send us an offline message by clicking on the Send Offline Message icon. Here, you'll be able to send us an offline message. Please include your student name and ID and send us the message. One of our staff members will be sure to get back to you to schedule your appointment. We hope you stay safe and remember, stay EOPS. So that was the short video of the Cranium Cafe. And now once you've actually had an opportunity to meet with your counselor and develop your educational plan, us counselors are going to upload and type in all the courses that you need to complete for your particular goal. And we're going to enter that into a system that we use. It's called DegreeWorks. It's an educational planning tool that will show your progress of what you've completed, what classes you still have remaining, and you have access access to that 24-7 through our My Gateway Degree Works portal. So these are the instructions on how you can go about seeing that educational plan once it's been completed between you and us as the counselors. So let's go ahead and talk about timeframes. So this new student orientation is going to count as your first counseling contact. Your second counseling contact can be completed at any point between September 26th through November 4th. And then your third counseling contact can be done anytime between November 7th through December 16th. So remember, you have to complete three counseling appointments every semester and these are the time frames of what you can expect to complete for the fall 2022 semester. So one of the biggest questions that we get asked is how long will I be in EOPS? So that depends on your major. If you are in a traditional major, you have up to 70 college level units or six semesters in EOPS. If you're considered to be a high unit major like any of our STEM or our health science majors or even some of our CTE majors, you can actually get up to eight semesters in a program or up to 90 units, whichever comes first. So some of the reminders, so one of the biggest things is always make sure that you have an updated email on file with us at all times, because that's how we typically notify you guys. You're going to want to check and update your meal email on a frequent basis. And not only EOPS, we highly encourage you guys to join other clubs, other programs, because the more involved you get on campus, the more comfortable you're going to feel and the better you're going to do when you're fully invested in something. And if you are a single parent, with a child under the age of 18 and have a household member receiving TANA for CalWORKs, you might want to inquire about our care program. You're going to want to contact Lily Perez in our office and she could give you more information about that program. So our mutual responsibility contract, this is our agreement with you to say that you are going to abide by EOPS uh, rules and regulations and we are going to offer those hurts that we have talked about throughout this PowerPoint presentation. So this is one of the forms that you will need to complete. If you were to look at the form, uh, you will have access to it in your email because because it was emailed to you prior to this new student orientation. If not, reach out to us and we'll be more than glad to send you another copy. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to initial next to each of these items and then print, sign your name uh, electronically, student ID number, and then uh, one of us uh, staff members will sign off on it as well. So programs of study at Cypress College. So what's very cool about the community college, and you guys made the right choice by attending Cypress College is because not only is it free for you guys, you guys also have the ability to get your first year and second year completed free of charge. And you have three different uh, options to choose. You can either do a vocational certificate, uh, depending on what your particular goal is. We have a lot of students that pursue some of our culinary arts certificates or automotive certificates or ESL certificates. We have a lot of different certificates that will get you gainful employment. We also have an associate degree program. A lot of our programs where students can get an associate's degree and then go out and start working right away. A lot of our health science programs are CTE programs are traditionally associate degree type programs. And then a bulk of our students plan to transfer on to get a bachelor's degree. And then some go on for master's and doctorate degrees, but that would be through our transfer program. So they would do our lower division general education here and their lower division major courses. And then they would transfer to you know Cal State Long Beach or Cal State Fullerton or UCI, UCLA. So that's the three modes of operations that we have here at Cypress College. So depending on what goal you pursue, you're going to have three general education patterns to choose from. If you plan on pursuing one of our associate degree program, you're going to be choosing our native general education pattern, which happens to be the color yellow. If you plan on transferring to a California state university like Cal State Fullerton or Cal State Long Beach, for example, you would be following our CSU GE pattern, which happens to be the color green. And then if you plan on transferring to UCI or UCLA, or you might be on the fence and still possibly interested in applying to a Cal State as well, you could follow our IGETSI pattern, which happens to be the color blue. 
So based on all that, if you're brand new to Cypress College and have never applied or taken courses here before, some of the things to consider when planning out your schedule. Time is a big factor. You know, you need to know what time of day you learn best. Like me, for example, I am a morning person. So when I was a college student, I always took 7 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. classes. If you know you're not a morning person and you're going to have a hard time getting out of bed and to get to a 7.30 or 8 a.m. class, make sure that you do not take one of those courses because some instructors are strict. They lock the doors exactly at the time class starts and they won't let you in late. So if you're more of a mid-morning person and you want to take 10 a.m. or 11.30 a.m. classes, that's one of the cool perks about being an EOPS is you get to choose the time that works for you. If you're a night owl and want to take some of our 6 to 9 or 7 to 10 p.m. courses, you can do that because you get the first pick of the letter. You're going to be one of the first students to register as an EOPS student. Also, professors. So we like to have these opportunities where you guys get to meet one another because it's always best to hear from somebody that you know and trust. So if you have a friend or a relative that's already taken classes at Cypress College and maybe they've taken a class that you need, definitely reach out to them to see if they like the instructor that they took. And if they had a good recommendation, you know, think about taking that class with that instructor. There are websites out there where you can research professors. Uh, RateMyProfessors.com is one of them. But you can always take those with a grain of salt because you don't know those particular reviews. It might be from a disgruntled student that maybe got a D or an F in the class and they are taking taking it out on the instructor by giving that instructor a bad review. So if you do have a friend or a relative on campus or somebody in EOPS that you trust, maybe get that recommendation first so that that way you feel more comfortable taking that class. And then study time. So we all know that you have to go to class, you have to listen to lecture. In addition to that, you have to study for your classes and your tests. So factor that in as well, especially if you guys are working or maybe you're a parent yourself, you got to juggle a lot of responsibilities and we want you to be successful here at Cyber. Cypress College. So math placement recommendations. So depending on how well and how high you went in high school, this is some of the recommendations that you're going to be pursuing. Business CIS, you would be most likely looking at our math 130 or math 120. Uh, For UC path, it could possibly be math 141. Uh, Some of our career technical education uh, majors would be focusing on either math 115 or math 120. Fine arts would be math 115. Our health science majors most likely be taking our math 120. Our exploratory undecided students students would most likely take any uh, math 115 or math 120. Kinesiology majors would be taking math 120. Language arts majors would be taking math 115. Our STEM majors, depending on where they last placed in high school, would either start off in math 141 or possibly math 150A. And then our social science majors would be math 120. And our elementary teachers would be pursuing math 110. So these are just recommendations. It's all dependent on where you last placed in math in high school. Our English placement. So if you uh, just graduated and this is your first time and you're pretty confident and feel good about your essay writing skills, you most likely will start off with our English 100. If you've been out of school for a while and you feel like you need a little bit more work, you might want to think about taking our five unit English 101 class. And then for our non-native English speakers, you would most likely start off in our ESL 110 course. So some of the important dates to consider for fall 2022, July 6th. So please get out your cell phones and put that into your calendar. July 6th will be your priority registration date. If you are completing this new student orientation in advance prior to July 6th, Uh, July 5th for our returning students, they would be completing their first appointment. But you guys, this orientation right now is completion of your first appointment. August 22nd, our fall 2022 semester begins. September. September 5th is the last day to add classes, last day to drop classes with the refund, and last day to drop classes without a W. September 5th, Labor Day campus will be closed. September 23rd is the last day to apply for fall 22 graduation and certificates. November 1st would be the first day to apply for spring 2023 graduation and certificates. November 13th would be the last day to drop classes with the W. November 24th through the 25th will be Thanksgiving holiday, so the campus will be closed. And then December 10th, fall 2022 semester ends. So congratulations. Welcome to our EOPS family. Before you log out, we definitely want to make sure within the next 24 hours, if you can please complete our mutual responsibility contract, which you can see below, and our statement of consent. These are two forms that you can complete electronically, and then you're going to want to email them to apply to EOPS at cypresscollege.edu. That's A-P-P-L-Y-T-O 
E-O-P-S at cypresscollege.edu. So make sure you get those two forms in as soon as possible because you're not fully inducted into our EOPS program until we've had a chance to review those two forms and process them. So next steps, you will be connecting with an EOPS counselor. If you have not already received a phone call, you will be receiving one shortly after this Zoom presentation ends. Definitely want to thank you for coming today and welcome to our EOPS family.